Hey you guys, it's Britt. Tonight I am here to share with you an easy Target gift guide. So if you're interested, please keep watching. All right, you guys, so I know that I promised everyone a gift guide for him and for her. Little change of plans. What I figured I would do is share gifts that I think are great ideas available from Target because in the United States, for anyone watching from the United States, Target is pretty much everywhere. And they not only offer curbside pickup for orders, they also do in-store pickups if you're comfortable enough to go into the store. And you can also just shop um, you know, in the store or you can have it shipped to your house. So if you're there to buy groceries or pick up other household essentials and you need to grab a gift for someone, maybe one of these will be a good idea. Maybe they won't, it's all good either way. But I also want to keep it really affordable because let's be honest, this year has been really hard for everyone, some more than others. There are people who you know, have lost their jobs and there are also people who have kept their jobs but they just struggle all the time and that's okay. It's nothing to be ashamed of or embarrassed about. We're all rowing in the same direction. We've all been there at one time or another. Some of us are still there and it's all good. So I wanna make sure that these are feasible, affordable, and easy to find. Now I'm not gonna be listing like 50 different ideas in this video because I think that that is overwhelming and this video would be two hours long. So the very first thing that I wanna recommend is something very similar to what I bought for myself a little while ago. These are the J Buds Air True Wireless Signature Earbuds. They are $49.99. They are rated four out of five stars and they have 865 reviews on target.com. So let me tell you guys, I have wanted a pair of AirPods for a long time, but I'll be real with you guys, I can't just go out and buy AirPods. It's just, hasn't been in the budget, and on top of it, I realized that other companies were coming out with very similar contraptions. So I ended up going on Amazon, doing a deep dive and doing some research. I found a pair, I think I paid around 55 or $60 for mine. There were cheaper options, but I wanted them to be sturdy because I didn't want to buy the ones that were like $20 and then just have them die after a few months because I realized that I would be buy I would be using them often which I do and I've really really enjoyed them it's really nice to be able to listen to a YouTube video while I'm editing one of mine or maybe I'm just at work and I just want to listen to music or you know, like a Stephanie Harlow video, those are always good to listen to because I don't have to be looking at the screen. So I've used mine consistently for, I think I've had them for a year now, and I've really, really liked them. So I wanted to throw this in there as the first option because I think that these would be good for anyone of any age. Everyone has a phone and everyone's on their phone a lot. Uh, some more than others, which is all good. The one thing that I will say about this is if you're thinking about getting these for someone, you kind of need to know who you're shopping for because a lot of people have AirPods or they have something similar to these. So if you're shopping for someone who you know for a fact doesn't have anything like this, this would be an amazing gift. And I think that anyone would be over the moon to receive these as a present. So that's the first thing. The second thing, I'm gonna talk about a lot of like houseware, like kitchen stuff, because I think that's great for men and women. Second thing I wanna talk about is bath stuff. There's one thing that I buy consistently at Target, it's Soap and Glory products. If I'm not buying it at Ulta, I'm buying it at Target. If I'm not buying it at Target, I'm buying it at Walgreens. You guys get the idea. I consistently have my Clean On Me shower gel on backup. I've probably got four or five on backup in the bathroom right now because I use it all, I use it every day. And 
I love it. The scent is nice and clean. It's not super florally. It's not like sugary sweet. And I think that it's great. I would say if you're shopping for someone who maybe doesn't spend a lot on their beauty budget, this would be an amazing idea for someone like that. I like a lot of the Soap and Glory products, but for this video, I'm gonna give you guys my top three picks because I think that if you got these three items and put them in a really pretty gift bag, it would be fabulous for someone in your life who doesn't spend a lot of time on um, you know, like self-care or maybe they don't take time out for themselves. This would be an amazing little care package for anyone. So number one, clean on me shower gel. Number two is the flake away body scrub. And number three is the righteous butter. The righteous butter does also come in a body lotion form. I own both. I like the Righteous Butter because I feel like it's a little thicker, a little more emollient, and just feels like it stays on my skin for longer. But if you're buying it for someone who doesn't, you know, maybe you know for a fact they don't like, you know, really emollient body products, maybe get them the lotion instead. But I think that would be an amazing little package to receive. And if it's someone that doesn't know what Soap and Glory is, it's really a nice way to introduce them to the brands. And keep in mind, they also have travel size stuff. I see it all the time at Target. So if you're truly looking for a stocking stuffer or if you're shopping for someone who travels a lot, then it might be a better idea to just get some of the travel size stuff and then whatever they end up liking, they can go back and buy the full size. Just an idea. Now I wanna get into the that's the only like beauty thing that I have because I feel really strongly about Soap and Glory. I'm not gonna go down the makeup aisle because honestly, makeup is so, people are so specific with their makeup and what they like to use and what they don't like to use. So I usually don't buy makeup for people for gifts, but I have a ton in the housewares and kitchen stuff category. The first thing I want to talk to you guys about is a crock pot. So I know that I grew up, we had a crock pot. It was, you know, probably from 1979 or something like that. And we used it for 30 years. I think this would be an amazing idea. And I'm going to repeat this, you know, thing throughout this video. But if you have someone in your life who just got their first house or they just started living on their own and they are kind of just getting their you know feet on the ground I think that something like a crock pot would be really nice because a lot of people don't want to go out and spend money on a crock pot but then once they own it they realize how useful it is because you can set the timer you can kind of just dump and go with a lot of recipes um, not go as in leave your house but go as in allow it to cook so you're not spending all your time in the kitchen. For someone who doesn't enjoy the process of preparing food and being in the kitchen to cook a meal, I think crock pots are amazing. So the one on target.com is $39.99. It's a six quart programmable slow cooker and it's rated four and a half out of five stars. It has 118 reviews. I think that this would be really nice for someone to receive as a gift. Now, the one thing that always gets me at Target is the hearth and hand kitchen stuff. Every time I am at Target, I go by the display and look to see if they've added anything new or if there's anything that I wanna grab that I think that I would be using on a consistent basis, I love the section at Target. The first thing, I would kind of do this as a set. I think that it would be a really cute idea to, you know, if you're kind of building a few small gifts, I know a lot of people like to do that. This four piece measuring cup set black from Hearth and Hand. It's $8.99 and it's reviewed really well, four out of five stars. 
And I like this because it's not super femi feminine, it's not really masculine, it's black, it's simple, it's not loud and crazy. And then even better, it also has a matching spoon set, measuring spoons. Those are $7.99. So I could see throwing both of these into a bag and maybe getting like, get a couple coffee cups, do these, throw in a candle, and you have a really nice gift. The second thing, now, I'm very reluctant to tell you guys about this because on my end when I'm looking at it, it will not allow me to ship this to my house and it's not available at any store close to me, but this pour over coffee contraption is so cute. Not only is it a really cool idea for someone who really loves coffee, but it could also work for someone who likes loose leaf tea because you can put the filter in there, put in loose leaf tea, and then just put your boiling water in there. So it's not just for someone who likes coffee. It is $16.99. If I link this down below and it's not available for you guys to buy, I would recommend maybe looking on Amazon or I'm sure someone on Etsy has made this at one point or another. So I'm more or less talking about the idea. I love that it's at Target and if you guys can buy it, I'm, you know, more power to you. I wish that I could buy it, but I still wanted to throw it in there in, in this video because I like things that I can set on my kitchen counter that I don't have to put away. And this just looks really cool. It looks very rustic and very, um, it almost looks like it's like handmade. So I think it's really cool, but if you guys can't buy it, then I would say still love the gift idea, but you might have to look at outside resources if you're not able to buy it from target.com. Next, the 18 inch Lazy Susan. You guys, I kinda wanna go buy this tomorrow at Target because it says that Targets around me have it. I am so obsessed with this. I love the idea of a Lazy Susan because it's not just something that you're gonna use up and then throw it in the trash. This is really a keepsake and you could not only put this on your dining room table, I could also see it being put on an oversized coffee table in the living room. You could put a couple candles on there and make it really cute. So I am obsessed with this. In fact, I might go to Target and see like what it looks like in person. I love the way that it looks. It's wood and it has this like either dark bronze or black sort of finishing on it, which is totally my style. I really love it and it's $39.99. The next thing is this enameled cast iron Dutch oven. This kind of ties in with what I was saying about the crock pot is that I feel like a Dutch oven is amazing for someone who really enjoys making recipes, specifically things like stews and soups and things like that. They can be very expensive. If you go to, is it Le Creuset, that brand that makes all of the Dutch ovens and stuff, they sell it at Williams Sonoma. I've wanted one of those for ages, but they're so expensive. So. This one at Target is $49.99. I would recommend the five quart, not the 0.5 quart, because I look at it like if I'm giving someone a gift, I would rather them have a little bit too much room than not enough. That's just kind of the way I'm looking at it. But I really love this idea. And I think that for someone who maybe has recently discovered their love of cooking or maybe rediscovered their love of cooking, this is not your everyday average holiday gift. And I love that. I love things that are like keepsake and things that you can actually use all the time. Same with that Lazy Susan. Someone puts that on their coffee table or on their dining room table. It's something that's being utilized. I love that. I love things that are getting used. They're not just sitting there collecting dust. I love it. And I'll throw up a couple other um, things from Hearth and Hand that I love. These wooden trays I think are really cute. Those are also things that are used consistently. I just love all of their stuff. I think that it's super simple. It's simple designs. Oh, so this is really sim simple. This is really easy, but this kitchen conversions wall sign, you know, 
it's just black and white. I think this is so adorable. This is an example of something where you could buy this, those measuring spoons and measuring cups, and maybe a couple of coffee mugs and a candle, throw it in the bag and you're good to go. So I really love little stuff like that. And the thing is, is when you're, when you're buying stuff like this, you also, at least for me, you don't have to do anything, but I always consider, I'm like, okay, is this someone that I've never been in their house? Do I even know what their personal style is at home? We all have our personal style and the things that we like to surround ourselves with, and there's nothing wrong with that. So if you are going to go this route, I just love that all of this stuff is very simple and, you know, I think it would fit in well in many different um, homes. Oh, this is another thing that I like, the tiered metal and ceramic dish rectangular serving tray. It's $35. This, I realize that this looks like something, it's like, when would I ever use that? I can tell you guys how I would use this. I would put this on my kitchen counter and keep fruit on it. Because right now, and I'm actually looking for something to kind of replace it, but we have a, it's kind of like a basket with a banana hook on it. So the banana goes on the hook and then there's room in the bowl to put other fruit. I kind of like it, but I kind of don't. We've also had it for like five or six years, but I love this idea where it's just black and white. It's really simple and you could just keep fruit on it. Buy something separate for bananas. Like us, we always have bananas in the house, um, but you could just buy a separate banana hook and then have this for, um, like for me, I, I always have pears for Axel. And we usually also keep lemons on a regular basis. And um, sometimes we'll be somewhat regular with buying apples. So this on the counter for fruit, I love it. Oh, and there's another one that I will throw up too, the two tier wood and metal cake stand. Technically a cake stand, but you could also use this for either fruit like the other thing, or I could also see this being really cute. If you have a lot of counter space, this will look great to keep um, like spices on. If you have, you know, instead of putting everything up in the counter, if you have spices that you use all the time, I could see just using this as kind of like an external spice rack and just keep it on your kitchen counter. But I also realize that not everyone has a ton of counter space. So that kind of depends on you as well. Okay, I have a couple of other things I wanna show you guys. I love throw blankets. We have throw blankets all over our house and I love them, but typically I don't spend a ton of money on them. I realize that some throw blankets are like $100. I don't have money for all that, but Target has some really nice throw blankets. So the first one that I wanted to show you guys is from Project 62 and it's $24.99 and it comes in four colors. The only thing is, is that at least for me, when I'm buying things like this, I love, you know, I'm like, oh, there's pink and blue and yellow. But again, if you've never been to the person's house that you're buying this for, what if they hate the color pink? What if pink is like nowhere in their house and you give them a pink blanket? So what I would recommend is go with a neutral color like cream or gray or black. And then obviously you can just give them the gift receipt and if they really want to exchange it, then they can do so. Okay, the other thing, this is so cute. Chunky Knit Throw Blanket from Threshold. It's $49.99. It comes in this color, it's called bronze, but I look at this as more of like a caramel, like brown color. It's so pretty and I love these oversized, like chunky throws. I'm obsessed, so that would be a really nice gift to receive. So lastly, as far as blankets go, I did wanna share with you guys, over the summer, I finally ended up buying myself a, a weighted blanket. Sorry for all the fuzz, I like, um, I bought myself a weighted blanket. 
I had heard so many different people talk about weighted blankets and how amazing they were. And I just got to the point where I was like tuning it out because I didn't know if it was just the popular thing to talk about or what it was. But I ended up doing a little more research and I figured out that it can help your sleep quality. It can also help with anxiety and restlessness. And with me spending so much time at home, there are a lot of times where I will be sitting at my computer during the day working on stuff and I'm just like, I just need a 30 minute break. So, you know, usually like midday, I will get off my computer, bring on my weighted blanket and I have a 12 pound weighted blanket and at Target, I think I paid $29 for it. Um, but there are a bunch of options on Target.com. The one I have is gray. Surprise, surprise. But over the summer, I started taking that out and cutting off my phone. You know, I'm, I'm not going to lay there on my phone because that does me nothing good as far as relaxing. And I would put the weighted blanket on, lay down for 30 or 45 minutes, and kind of do one of those like kind of napping but kind of not kind of deals. And there is something that is so relaxing about having that weighted blanket on. This is not something that I sleep with because A, it's too heavy and B, I don't even know if you should have that on you for six to eight hours a night. I don't know how that works. So I will do small increments and I feel so relaxed and so zen. Like I don't even want to like misuse that word, but you just feel so relaxed. I'm obsessed with it. So I think that if you, if you have someone who maybe, maybe you know that they deal with a little bit of anxiety, or maybe you know that they've been having trouble sleeping because I know a lot of times stress and sleep don't coexist. If you're stressed out, then you're having issues sleeping. So maybe getting them a weighted blanket and some of the stuff from Soap and Glory would be a really, really nice gift for someone who might be having a really hard time because I think that we've all been there and some of us are there right now and we're just doing our best to get through it. So I think that those would be really thoughtful and really nice. I wanted to get this out for you guys. And like I said, I realized that many of us are struggling financially. And if you're in a position where you cannot buy gifts for anyone this year, that's okay. It's okay. A lot of us are there. So don't feel like the odd one out or ashamed or, you know, bad. It's okay. We're, we're all going to get through this. But for the people who maybe needed some ideas, but they, um, you know, haven't really perused the internet and don't know what to do, I did want to put this out there as stuff that's easy to get at your local Target by either going in the store or, um, or shopping online, one or the other, whatever works for you. So I'm going to link all these products down below for you guys to make it really easy. And if you don't use any of them, that's fine. Maybe keep the screenshots for next time you want to treat yourself to something if you like any of these ideas. So for now, I hope that you guys like the video. If you did, please leave me a like and a comment. And if you'd like to see more from me in the future, please subscribe. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.